Yeah, we're coming back. Run the bumper. Oh. So are we just going to start over, or are we going to... Ah, we can... He's unmuting us. Go. Hi. Hello. We're back. W welcome back, guys. Sorry. So, um, Twitch, oh, please. <laughs> we love you, Twitch. Have yeah. mercy, please. Yeah, I don't. I don't know the or something. 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 So something somewhere failed, and well, it just takes a little bit to stabilize after maintenance. So some things like this happen. Yeah, it's like an earthquake, and then you have the aftershock. So it goes down, it comes back up, and then it kind of shakes yeah. a little bit. And we were yeah. on the short end of the stick. BTS drew okay. the short straw. So you guys, um, you guys made it sound convincing. Yeah, I yeah. think you're full of shit though, and you have no idea what causes it. No clue. Whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. maybe one of the cats. Uh, it's just, just so hit one of the cables. Roland hit the wrong button. Uh, Elaine, uh, blame Roland. Possibilities. We yeah. did have we did have Twitch staff telling us it would take twenty to thirty minutes to stabilize. Okay, and we of course ign oh, okay. ignored their warnings and just. Oh, we pushed it back. We pushed it back and started thirty minutes late. Ish. Oh, this was thirty minutes ago, not just twenty minutes ago when Twitch Tw died. We're died. Anyway, we're still on the level. The so let's do the show. Right, I think you have to. I think you have to go back. Over yeah, we're going to go back over this. Not sure the last thing you guys heard, but today we're going to talk about the invites. We're going to talk about the qualifiers in particular, and then we're going to talk about the two big hubs in North America and EU. So the invites are as follows. In case you've been living under a rock and don't know who was invited: Alliance, Titan, Evil Geniuses, and Fnatic, Newbie, Vici Gaming, Navi. DK, Invictus Gaming, Cloud9, and Empire. Now, in the last episode uh, that we did, A Road to TI, we had pretty much all these teams talked about. We boiled it down to there were three slots remaining, and we had four teams that we couldn't decide on, and the other team that we were talking about was Rock's Kiss, and they didn't make the cut. And I, I don't know. I, I, we were talking some smack yeah. about Fnatic in the last episode, and God's watched the VOD and told me he would have joined in on said smack talk had he been here. <laughs> I think people are right to kind of smack talk Fnatic because they they're so inconsistent. They've had some absolutely miserable results in drafts, but at the end of the day, they've actually won tournaments. You look at Rock's Kiss, yep. they haven't actually won any big-name right. tournaments, whereas Fnatic, they won the MLG TKO, they won the fake right. Captain's Draft tournament, yeah. <laughs> which we're still firing shots at. No, they've actually won tournaments, they've done all right. All also, all. The, the rap on Fnatic is the same rap on, I'm looking at this list, I would say on Titan, I would say on Newbie, mm -hmm. um, and I would even say on well, I guess some of these teams have won events, but all of these teams suffer from inconsistency. Newbie has right. yet to win anything with their current roster. Yeah, anything. Titan had did okay at WPC, but has not won a yeah. major tournament. They won the inaugural. They beat the best of SEA, but they haven't really proven themselves against other regions lately. So yeah. I feel like there's at least two or three other teams that are in the similar category yeah. where you yeah. at some point it's like they're good enough. They have the results from the past, and I think this is like yeah. the most obvious, easy to pick eleven teams in TI yeah. history. Like, if you look at the yeah, past true. few years, at the past three TIs, it was much more debatable with the invites. Yeah. This one, I think, hands down, no one's going to argue. A, I mean, people will well, argue like by personal bias, but end of the day, everyone agrees. Well, yeah. you know why it's easier as well is because they only had two qualifiers in past years and the one wild card spot. So. It's when you get towards the like last few teams of the tournament where like it tends to be there's a bunch yeah. of teams. Well, that are either close. way, there's going to be a last few teams though. Well, but the drop off is steeper. Yeah, right. I and I, it becomes murkier. I think it'd be murkier if like Rock's Kiss were doing well. Like imagine there was like another like last year they had more dominant SEA teams because both uh, Scythe as well as uh, Zenith as well as Orange got invited. Uh, even right. I mean, see those three SEA teams there invited. Three SEA teams. So I think if there was more like strong tier one teams in SEA, if Rock's Kiss were maybe doing better, winning some tournaments, then it becomes a lot harder to do the invites. But I think the fact that there's only Titan who are doing, like Titan are playing like how MUFC were playing last year. And, I mean, I don't mean that to offend Titan, but I mean like they basically got just, they got well, their invite. MUFC was playing really well before yes. TI. Yeah. Like, they, I, I, no one, I, no one was really expecting them to go 16 and 0. Like, uh, I was no 0 and 16. 16 I'm a Freudian slip, Ryan, secret MUFC fanboy. Like, like to me, MUFC like, Titan are in a similar form as the MUFC were last year, which was good form, worthy of yeah. a TI invite, yeah. although somewhere near the bottom of the list of TI right. invites. Yes. Yeah, they're but. definitely in, like, the bottom three of confidence yeah. level, anyway. I mean, yeah. Titan and Newbie basically got on because four of their five roster members are from teams that were in the top four last year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, some, probably but some Newbie just that. had a roster change very recently, like, within the last yeah, two they weeks. Kicked, they Who was it? Four King J and added Zan Cheng. The okay. rumor was that they wanted Chuan as well as Faith to join the team. Again. Yeah, and then the the owner of Newbie tweeted, or like on the on QQ or Weibo, he tweeted out basically that like he'll never make the mistake of trusting this person again. He didn't specify yeah. who, but what about poor fucking King J? King J's getting like the poor little guy. wraparound team. He's like, oh, you're in the oh, we're trying to replace you, but oh, we didn't get to replace you. Do you want to come back? And I, I reckon they tried <laughs> to keep King J, and King J was just like, I'm done. Fuck you. I'm <laughs> Yeah. I'm out of here. Yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah, I take it that they, or, or speculating, but I mean, it's I, reasonable yeah. speculation. I take it that they liked yeah. King J over San Chang, or they, they were picked San Chang at the beginning, right? So. Probably. I don't think that. I think Newbie's actually their recent results have been not bad. 
And I think if you, any of their poor performances, you can't attribute to King J. Yeah. Yeah, wait, maybe. I'm a secret King J fan. <laughs> eh, I, like I, I don't. King J has been underwhelming for me. I, I'm yeah. not saying he's the only problem with the team, but I would say he was yeah, no, one of the worst performing players on the team. Oh well, yeah, but everyone was playing pretty bad. Even Xiao yeah. Wei. It's easy. It's it's yeah. it's, like the the worst, it's the liquid almost. thing though. It's like very easy to pick yeah. a scapegoat when the team's doing poorly. And the only two players I'd say have been consistent is Banana and Moo. Like to me, those are the only yeah. two consistent players. Xiao Wei has looked very underwhelming lately, and I'd say this is Xiao Wei just sometimes straight up biggish. Yeah. Biggest Shao Eight fanboy ever, but and Banana, who looked brilliant at times in the past for IG, has he's been good. He's, he's been, been okay. He's, I, he hasn't yeah. had bad games. He's consistent. Yeah. Like I think that's me. Is his Mu has been factor. the most consistently good over the at least the past yeah. few weeks yeah. that I've been doing WPC coverage. Every game he makes big plays, whether they win or lose. Hal's been inconsistent, but at least when he's good, he's like ridiculously good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, so he has that like Havost element to him. Yeah, he yeah. doesn't know. He's the Havost of the East, like yeah. for sure. Like we saw it at TA three. Even played similarily. Mm. So. So I mean, any, anything else really to talk about the invites? Yeah. I feel like, like God said, they're all pretty yeah. expected, standard. Maybe yeah. some people would question like Titan or Fnatic slightly, but I don't think you can really make a better case for. Well, then teams. it's the question of a team like EG. They get invited with fear. Like fear has not played a, a match for them in yeah. three yeah, months. Will he be playing a TI? Yeah, and if he's question. not playing a TI, I saw I saw it there on Reddit. Someone's like he's tagged up as free agent or something. I was and like, he's like not on the in-game roster. Yeah. Although that doesn't always mean that much. No, no. Like, in-game like, rosters teams, are a mess Faith, right now because Faith was on newbies in-game roster for yes. a small period of time. Fada is still on Sigma's yeah. in-game roster. Right. As it's just it's one piece of the puzzle. It's not like oh no, just because of this. But it's not very. If they if they replace him, should they still have an invite? Look what happened to LGD last year. Yeah. And LGD finished top three. If you go by precedent, yeah. hell no. But yeah. no. Yes. It's, it's who's our top four say. then? If we're done talking about direct invites, of these direct invites, who are the top four we think at TI? Power rankings. I think like anyone, if it happened today, or happen, if it happened today, or what we expect to happen over the next few. months. I'll say what we expect to happen. Okay. Over the next few months, like so, when TI comes around, who, which of these teams do you think will be standing alone at the top mm, four? I would say DK, Navi. Mm, those are kind of the two. Navi mainly just because they always find a way at TI. DK, oh. obvious choice based on recent performance. I would also say I think Newbie's going to step it up a bit. I know they've looked a little shaky, but mm -hmm. I'm expecting them to put a run together. And these guys have accomplished a lot at previous internationals. I actually agree with, uh, I think, the Newbie's I'm not sure about the fourth. It it's, I think it's the year of, the year of uh, revenge for China. DK... Yeah. First, Vici Gaming second, Newbie third, IG fourth. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Jesus. That, I, I uh, can't go that far. Oh, easy. No, that's way too far. You're tuning in to be on the summit. Yeah, so I, don't, I don't know if I can agree with that, guys. Gone. But I, I would probably yeah. go DK, Newbie, Navi, EG. I think EG will make a run for top four. I like it. we're all putting newbie in like our top four. I like newbie. I mean, they don't they don't deserve it based on I'm, recent performance. It's just but what in I, two months, like yeah. look at the names. I mean, yeah. they, have, they have four players of these from Tongfu last year. Kind of what I expect. Four players I, from Tongfu last year. What about Alliance? No one Alliance. mentioned Alliance. Yeah. I think I think Alliance I think will be top four. If I, I don't really, think, I, yes, I, I, I think Alliance so. may get bottom eight. Nope. Yeah, yeah I I, I don't think unless they really change things around, they have just not been. I they they want to make Bucharest, but I've been it was with their player of the Navi week. with three stand-ins. Yeah. Okay, so Fnatic they beat Cloud9 kind of at DreamHack Basically, Bucharest. Basically, they beat yeah. Cloud9, because Fnatic did not, was Whoa. not on their A-game I've been either. watching them in a I couple of I think Cloud9 beat themselves at Bucharest. <laughs> with the, <laughs> some of their <laughs> item <laughs> sections. Dude, Admiral draft, Bulldog yeah. played offlane Huskar today and owned. Okay, so 6.81 awesome. is the era of Alliance. I think Alliance can do really well in this patch, is what I'm saying. Like, I really think they're going to do that. He went, um, like, Helm, he went Blink, Helm... Um, armlet. So yeah, I imagine Lifesteal is core on him now. Uh, Lifesteal is definitely core on him now. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think Alliance is going to be a team that will really fit in well. So, with this so it looks like Arteezy wants to come on the show and I share think EG his. I getting bottom four. Does share his opinions on uh, bottom four? on some of these yeah. teams. Bottom four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Come on, Arteezy, right. give us a call, buddy. We'd let's, love to hear from you. Yeah. Bottom four, Arteezy. Road to. We're here. Road to TI. We're ready. Call Arteezy. Better start buddy. the road to TI five, man. Road. To <laughs> <laughs> like TI4, you're not going anywhere. You really don't think that EG can make a run for top four in TI4? I'm bullshitting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't think they're getting bottom four. I, honestly, uh, uh, how can you how can you make a prediction about EG when you don't know who, if they're actually going to stick with this five man roster? And even if like how you're okay. going to do, like is his arm okay? What's yeah. what's the dealio? Right. That's tough. Yeah, that's that's tough. true. Um, I, yeah, and I if Fear can't play, who's going to be in his stead? It can't it, be Eternal Envy because he's be on Cloud9. Mason, so. Mason is Mason. the. If they go to TI4 with Mason, I think they should get top eight. I don't think they're like okay. a top two, top three team, but I think they'll do like fifth, sixth, maybe seventh, eighth. I think they're a team that can be exploited about certain in certain areas. Is okay. their issue right now? Whereas I mean, yeah, we saw that at Star Ladder. Yeah, the unstoppable Ember Spirit was stopped. Yeah, yeah. I think. Um, 
I don't think I think we're not giving enough credit to Empire. Um, I think they're a team that will probably do really well in this patch as well. Why? Just Why like this patch in particular? Honestly, some of their core heroes got nerfed in the Centaur and the uh, Luna pick mm -hmm. that they like to run a lot. But they're very good at... They were one of the first people to really pick up what was the best, like, four or five heroes to draft in the last patch. I think they're really good at adjusting to new things, right? Yeah. And also, Exord yeah. Invoker did not get nerfed a bit. So Resolution's still fucking OP. Well, that's definitely true. Resolution's... Even his Quas Wax Invoker is still... Yeah, like, but Exord Invoker's still Exord like, really, 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 really good. And yeah. he probably... Is Resolution the best Exord Invoker? No, Ice Ice Ice. Is, uh, I would say Ice 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 is the best Invoker in this group. There's a lot of really good Quas Exord Invokers. Yeah, but who the, do you think? In the top teams. Dendy's out, Dendy's out there, but he plays a different style Exord Invoker. He yeah, goes it's more not for the like same. the Tornado. He goes like the Blink Force stuff with Tornado right. Meteor kind of combos, yeah. but mm -hmm. different style. Um, I would say I would say Resolution's still like at least top three invokers in the yeah. direct. Invoke. So yes. no one has faith in Cloud Nine. Where do we think they would rank they're in our so power they've rankings? They've been insanely here? inconsistent. We'll see how they do in the run up to the tournament. Um, yeah. they've just been they've made it to a lot of like big tournaments and done well. Like uh, in the ESL stuff, they were poised to if they win, they make it ESL and lost both games, lost in the finals at Bucharest. Yeah. I'm not saying they're not good. They're obviously a good team because they're getting there in the first place. Mm -hmm. But in terms of top four, they're going to have to really prove themselves in the next yeah. coming months. All right, how about this question? Of those uh, 11 invited teams, who do you think is the, the low, who will rank the lowest of them in TI4? Mm. If, if the things continue, IG, because they are Ooh. falling apart as a team what? currently. Oh, like, I was thinking yeah. I was Titan. watching. They, I mean, they lost to Dreamtime? Dream, I actually think Dreamtime is looking really good. I, I a lot agree. of the a lot, it's very easy to be like, oh, they lost to one of the tier two Chinese teams. But I think the reality is the tier two Chinese teams are much better than people give them credit for, and mm -hmm. there's yeah. not that much of a divide outside of maybe DK and Vici Gaming right now playing very well. But I, beyond that, I think the tier two Chinese teams are just much better than people. I think give them making like for. top two, top three predictions is one thing, but making bottom two, bottom three, not that I don't want to. I just think it's hard, hard. to do because no, all of these teams are capable yeah. of getting top eight. Like you look yes. what, okay, that's going a, into TI three, I looked at Fnatic and thought these guys are like almost certainly gonna get bottom eight, but they played it so amazing at TI three, they finished seventh, eighth. Yeah, like. Yeah. And that to me, like maybe and, they and were they, a bit disappointed, but I thought that was a really good result. And they for could those have, guys. they could have beaten Orange as well in that yeah. game. So mm -hmm. it wasn't like they're completely yeah. outgunned. And I feel Titans in the same category. Most people will be expecting Titan to finish bottom eight, uh, maybe not bottom four, because there's obviously we haven't got the qualifier teams in the mix yet. But mm -hmm. yeah, probably a lot of people not expecting Titan in the top eight. But end of the day, they're capable of it. They've got amazing individual talent. They've been there before. Yeah, yeah, and performed like, at a high level. And so. I Ooh. as much as people like to. Point out losing Mushi is a big loss. To him. I don't. I think people exaggerate and over overstate how big a loss Mushi was. Like I think That's it's a big loss, but it's not as yeah crippling as people yeah. say it is. They're still a top three team. People the say they lost Mushi their so. identity, but I think that's just that's yeah. too going too yeah. far. I look at Fnatic as a total wild card coming into this TI4 yeah. because one thing that we know about Fnatic is they're going to boot camp and they have a history of boot camping yeah. hard and they tend to perform better on LAN when like a big event like this where they have a lot of time to prepare okay. and, and really get into that, that team vibe. They did it, again, to reference the Hondas. That's what they used to do before DreamHacks and they had a pretty big history, a pretty good history of uh, winning DreamHacks. Right. So I see Fnatic is either they'll get there and maybe kind of choke, or they'll get there and maybe they'll surprise some people and turn some heads. I think Fnatic's a team that will need a good group stage to build up their momentum going into the. Definitely. I think if they end up in bottom four, bottom or like bottom well, three, bottom two in their group stage, they'll have a hard time making. Well, we it don't there. know what the format is this year. It's possible that Valve changes it. Yeah. I we'll mean, just assume uh, it's I'm the same. It's if it is the same format, yeah, stage, fair assumption to make. It's pretty yeah. hard to make a run for the lower bracket. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's press forward here, guys. Let's talk about the qualifiers. Alrighty. What do we want to talk about about the qualifiers? Go through each qualifier. Make well, I guess first of all, we should explain the new format. And oh, yeah. I guess that's true. Okay, that. so we have those 11 teams that were hand-invited. There will be 16 teams total. Uh, of those 11, the next four will come from four different qualifiers, from America, Southeast Asia, China, and Europe. So that takes us to 15. Mm -hmm. And then the last slot will be from the play-in series, which will be the runner-up in each qualifier who will be invited to come out to Seattle. They'll play in a special play-in series yep. amongst those four teams, and then the winner of those four teams will get the uh, 16th slot in the tournament uh, with everybody else. So, I uh, I, 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 I like Do you have somewhere more important to be? Yeah. Maybe. Uh-oh. Hot date? It's an emergency Something call. Something like that. Okay. I've got a call. It's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the panic line. <laughs> Jeez. That's what we got. Oh, if this, that wasn't a joke. It's actually the panic line. <laughs> this is total bullshit. He's got like pizza here or something. <laughs> Don't fall for it. Oh, God. Okay. 
you have professionals. So, well, well, qualifier format. So, any, anyhow, back uh, back to in the studio here. Um, the wild card format. The wild card format. Yes, very interesting. So, each of the qualifiers have a preset amount of invited teams, and how many is it? Is it ten? Ten. Okay, ten. so ten teams in each qualifier. And it's a pretty comprehensive list. There weren't too many teams that I could think of. Why, that why were... no Goomba? No Goomba. Go Goomba. See, I literally, I literally, the only thing I think that there's actual controversy over is the fact that like he he United got in over Goomba. Okay. Well, <laughs> I don't know either of those. Teams. I think that's literally the only controversy. Uh, we're America, talking about North America, we did, there, right? I, I would say Isaris maybe needed a shot in Americas, but I don't know. Maybe I don't know if they're better than No Earth Spirit though. It's hard to tell. So who's, who's on No Earth Spirit? I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't. I see. know who they are and what like their recent like results, but I don't actually know the team mm, at, at large. Yeah. So, all right, Roland is showing us the the team overviews here on stream. So Might want to uh, hide the lower third, Roland, so people can see as well. Um, yeah. Um, but I I like this format. I feel like it's pretty inclusive. You've got your invited teams, so you know like the the best teams in the world are going to be there. You've got every other B slash C tier team under the sun playing in the qualifiers, where they have a fair shot to get in. And then even if you don't make it to the top in your qualifier, you still have another chance if you're one of the runner ups. Right. It just feels like a really good like breakdown to get the top tier teams, some mid tier teams, and that kind of last wild card seat where it could be up for grabs for really anybody. Right? Compared to last year, last year there were a total of sixteen teams in the qualifier and a lot of teams left out that you can make a very strong case for deserve to be in the event. Yeah. Hypey. There I think there are still a few teams, like mainly in Southeast Asia, there's maybe one or two more that I would consider adding to this list, but I mean end of the day, like I think this is pretty damn close. Who would you add? I I actually can't really think Team of Team Immunity. Any. Immunity. Isaris. Isaris Isser, not in. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, Isaris doesn't have a stable. Like, they were in the grand finals. Yeah, and they they, they were playing with, like, two stand ins every that's game. Right, that's probably yeah. why. Um, my case for Team Immunity, obviously, I'm biased. I'm from <laughs> Australia, but these guys have been dominating the Australian scene for so long. And, like, what, Korea gets two invites just because they get the two best Korean teams. And, like, to me, the Australian. Like, I, I have a big bias towards the Australian team, but, <laughs> end of the day, like, I, I also know because the QO who plays mid for MVP Phoenix, he was, like, a tier two Australian player. Like, I, I mean, sure, he's improved a lot since then, but the Australian scene, like, you look at Team Immunity, they've got former Natural 9 players are at TI2. These guys are easily as good as all of these Tier 2 SEA teams, like First Departure, Maneski, MVP Phoenix. Like, they're on the same level or better. Why do you think they didn't get invited? Is it because, because Australia gets no exposure. Because oh, they didn't play other SEA teams in tournaments? And they things, they like play, I mean, they, they play mostly Australian tournaments. SEA tournaments are, like, three hours. There's a three-hour time difference, mm -hmm. so it's hard. All the SEA tournaments start at, like, 10 p.m. because the SEA teams have shitty schedules where they, well, I mean, it's not their fault. They play on their own their own schedules, but most of them have work or school. So, like, we schedule the inaugural. All the matches start at, like, 9 p.m. Singapore time. That's true. Ooh. For Australian teams, that's midnight. They have work. They have school. They can't play those tournaments. So, mm. for an Australian team, you're not getting exposure. You're not getting any, you're not getting any limelight with, and you're not, not getting any practice against the SEA teams. The green teams get the exposure because next one throw bucket loads of cash. Still waiting for Trent Tucker slicks to make his splash into the competitive yeah. scene. That's that's <laughs> well, my Australian bias right there. Well, the thing with me is a team of me is a team who could have made a player, run. Man. I don't think they would have gotten top two, but I think they could have easily made it into the playoffs of that qualifier. I look at that and think I don't think the same about some of these teams here. Whereas yeah. Team Immunity, who do you, is who do you kick out of the SCA qualifier to put in Team Immunity? So. I would say probably first departure or okay. MVP. Phoenix. I would agree with I would agree with first departure. First departure has been really weak lately. I want to see MVP Phoenix play. Yeah, I agree. I think I, I First Departure has got a big name because they're in the last TI qualifier, but all their players joined site. This is a completely new roster for First Departure from last oh. year. I yeah. honestly would... I think MVP Phoenix is more deserving than Mineski. Mineski, yeah. what have they done lately? No, MVP I think Phoenix Mineski beat Mineski. That, yeah. Mineski, Mineski in the last roster, year would, yeah. would have been deserving if the qualifiers were there. No, but I agree. I they've think... changed their roster like 50 times. They haven't accomplished anything lately. Hey, I love Pinoy Dota, but come on. Yeah. I mean, this is... Yeah. They are not doing Pinoy Dota proud right now. Yeah. Be, so, Perfect. okay, yeah, let's go it. through each qualifier and talk about our yep. top two teams. That's okay. what we want to go for here. Yep. Because Where are we the, starting? Uh, the top, yeah, the top team right. will go straight into the event, and then the second place will have a chance for the play. And so that's what's important. Okay. I'm going gonna, to bring in our American expert. Yes. Okay, that's please okay do. Yes, 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 absolutely. We have an, an American expert, so... He is American, buzz, buzz. of course. He is American, and he, he is American. an expert. He's coming American. here for the, uh, the American hub. Oh, yeah, I know who this guy is. I hear he has nice nipples. Yeah, how you doing? Ma? Hi. Hey, That's Ma. the first thing you open up with. Oh, he's got nice nipples. <laughs> All, right. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a compliment. It. Yeah, I guess so. How are you guys? How are you guys doing? Wonderful. We're doing well. How, How are you, are you Travis? I, I am. I'm doing fantastic, honestly. I'm, I'm glad you guys brought me on. And you guys were talking about the American qualifiers. And I, I wanted to get my kind of word in. And I guess talk about that for a bit. So uh, the American qualifier, I mean, I'm just going to like come out and say it's kind of like the biggest joke of a qualifier before. Ooh. 
Whoa, oh. whoa, <laughs> heavy flames, man. Wow. Wow. Uh, no. Why is it not? It's Ma, not a joke, no, but it's... Ma, why yeah. is it not a Argue, it argue not with a me, Ma. I want to okay, start a fight. Well, here's the it thing. I think reason. there's a lot of individual talent here, and there always has been in, in, I guess, the American Dota scene. And I think with, like, some of these teams coming out right now, like, they're they're kind of making their debut, I think. And honestly, you could say the same with a lot of the teams in the other qualifiers. But as it stands right now, I think America, they have some really, really strong teams that people aren't giving a chance to see, like, if you look at the games between Liquid and Top 5 today, they were actually rather close. And I know Liquid hasn't been playing on top of their game, but I think you probably... Do you think it's a joke because Liquid is probably just going to take it? Or or do you think it's a joke because all the other teams are just not good? Like, I don't think what... it's a matter of the, the skill of the teams. I think it's more the instability of the scene and... Okay. A lot of these are basically like mixes. They're not actually teams. They've hardly played yes. at any events together. Some of them like right. formed like a week ago or I've right. been making... Like sure, <laughs> okay, okay, of okay. course there's roster changes in every scene, but it's just so exacerbated. I think the really Dota. weird thing is like, let's say a team... Like, we could a team like NA Reject. Let's say they... Maybe the like, Liquid wins it, but NA Rejects get the wildcard spot. This is a team that formed two weeks ago and have been playing yeah. with like a different roster every match. And you compare that to the SEA or the or the Chinese or the European qualifier, the teams coming out of those are going to be stable teams who've formed for a while. Like you look at China, these teams have been having consistent rosters. Yeah. SEA team is a very established tier two scene. The American scene just doesn't have an, a very established list of teams after well, the top two or three. Well, I think the thing is too also, I mean, that, that I mean... I agree with you, and a lot of these teams are kind of just thrown together, and that's just like that's just American Dota in general. It's like, hey, let's try to find a team and get like, something going like, like two weeks before the qualifiers. But there are also teams like Sneaky Nix Assassins who you really shouldn't sleep on because yeah. I think they're one of the best teams out there, and they could easily contest for that top spot. Honestly, what's their current lineup? Um, they have right. Sna, Ush, uh, Whitebeard, Fluff, and of course the legend, the Stash, Ix Mike eighty eight. So. Okay. And Fluff and Sna and Ush and Whitebeard actually played together for a while, right before adding Fluff. Like they were in. You uh, mean yeah, Mike and the rest. Yeah, of them. yeah, Mike they the did. Yeah. The Wild Witch Doctors. Yeah, so they did. Yep, they were w WWD, and they asked, uh, I guess they had WWD in their lineup, and then they just decided to add Fluff and kind of change the name around. But I mean, this I think has been together. I so. think one of the biggest defenders on that list is North American Rejects. <laughs> this te half of the team was played. League of Legends, they're like, oh wait, TF4 oh, yeah, qualifiers yeah. are coming. There's going to be an American <laughs> qualifier. Let's make a team. Maybe I, we'll get invited. I think that's the only reason I make a bold statement to say the qualifiers are a joke because I think it's particularly directed at the NA region. Well, I mean, they're, they're League all, of Legends they're playing all fantastic scum. players. <laughs> they're, they're all good players, but it's like, how seriously are you taking Dota? And and they're being invited to the qualifiers, and then there's uh, like hardworking teams and other scenes. No, that don't make the I, I think if I think if that there wasn't what for is that their team. current lineup? It's fogged is the only one that I know. Fo fogged. Brax, 1437, Snake King, Coral. and Coral. I mean, it's, it's like yeah. by far one of the most stacked lineups in... So stacked. They could win the qualifier. They could no win a would, lot of the no qualifiers in terms of individual talent. It's just like, they were just thrown together like two weeks ago, three yeah. weeks ago. It's yeah. just, I don't know. If they don't qualify, do they go back to League of Legends or what's yeah. the plan? <laughs> what's, the, the what's, the, what's the plan at that point? I don't know. They got a lot of events coming up. I mean, they qualified for the Summit American qualifiers. Who knows what they it's can true. do there, honestly. And I, I don't know. Yeah. This is a team that... and. I was talking to Snaking and a bunch of the guys, and they're like, they're aiming for the top dogs right now. They don't want to just be like, you know, scrimming with the rest of the guys in the qualifiers. They're like, yeah, we want to be scrimming Navi and all these guys. So okay. they're taking this rather seriously. And Good. yes, they did get thrown together like two weeks before in typical NA Dota fashion. But like the thing is, you, you, you talked about it. They have so much star power, so much potential. Like Korok is a freaking monster. Like that guy is like a ridiculously good player. There's like, and he's one of the best, I think, in American Dota. So. Um, I'm really how, looking forward to seeing them play, but I don't know. How much has he even been playing? Like, I, I well, he, he took a very long break from Dota, yeah. from what I understand. That's, yeah, that's the thing. They're all really rusty. You've seen it, like, in their play. Mm -hmm. Like, it, the, but the thing is that that rust kind of falls off very quickly. You know, one day Fogged will be on Sand King. It'll miss, like, three or four Burrow Strike and three or four Burrow Strikes. And the next day he'll just, like, hit, like, you know, three Burrow Strikes, like, Man bro strikes, then all of a sudden, like he'll solo kill with epicenters and stuff, and he'll just be like, Yeah, I just got the rust off real quick. And I'm like, <laughs> Okay, all right, typical fog. Okay, I guess that's awesome. Who, but, uh, okay, we'll, we'll give we'll, we'll let it go, Travis. We'll we'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's pretend all these teams are very established and serious <laughs> and, and hard working, and they've been playing together for ages. And um, what's your top two, Mott? Yeah, how do you how do you rate the teams in the qualifiers? Rank one, rank two, America qualifier, go. In the American qualifiers, this is this is actually something I was thinking about a lot of, and I think if if Liquid play on top of their game, that I don't, they have too much individual talent to go, you know, to not get there. So I, I'd rank them one, and and they reject same thing. They have too much individual talent, but uh, I, I think I might have to throw Sneaky Nick's Assassins ahead of them just because I feel like their chemistry is a bit better, 
And like everyone will talk about Fluff and Axe Mike, but like it's not an usher like monsters. Where, like, where's revenge on your list? No, no love, love for South Smash America. Song. Come on. Where I, the hell I, is revenge on your list? I love revenge, don't get me wrong, and I love Smash, but they rely too heavily on Smash alone. Like they're really good players on revenge, but like Ben Ja's not really stepping up his game, I think. And yeah. Mihawk can feed from time to time. And I, I love them as players, and trust me, like I don't know. I, I just think that it's gonna be tough for them and they certainly can contest. And also the thing is I'm sure a lot of people are like, what about Ehug? But Oh, like that's a yeah. really young what team. about that's a big hug. if they've yeah, had a lot of roster like... instability as well i just don't like <sighs> the whole e-hug thing is like the whole idea was to get five players and put them in a team house and they train together and they've just had like a fifth player who doesn't live with the team for ages now yeah, yeah. i think they just tried to I, they pulled the trigger too quick i think they didn't really think about the dynamic between those five players and they were just like we want to do this right now and that was yeah. That's just I, my two cents, though. The thing is, and I, I went to the Ehuck house, and I met those guys, and, and we talked a lot, and I, I don't want to, you know, share anything too personal, but, you know, they, they just kind of, like, I don't know, there was some chemistry that wasn't working for them, and, you know, obviously with Ryu leaving, that's a big loss because yeah. he's a very strong mid laner, and you yeah. had Jigoblade, and he's very good, and you had Justin, who's done a fantastic job in the meantime, but I think, honestly, teams like Osiris and Earth Spirit can kind of sneak up on Ehuck, and Ehuck can really get shut down here, and... Yeah. Yeah, I will see. I, I mean, I'm rooting for him because I, I love Pandego, I love Sheep, I love those guys, but I think it's going to be a tough qualifiers for them. Matt, who, or, uh, tra Mott, who don't you love? Uh, who, 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 are, who are you not, who are you actively rooting against? I mean, I'm not really, that, that, I'm not going to root against anybody. That's like such a loaded question. Yeah. I think, you, you love everyone. You're like, oh, I love this on. team. They're my favorites. These guys are my boys. Who is on top five? You gotta, you gotta uh, fire some shots here, Mott. You can't be a fan of all, every single Union team. Gaming. I, I don't think Union deserved a spot over uh, Isurus, number one, and yeah, over um, Shadows of the Past, number two, which is also a pretty strong team, and I'm kind of surprised both those teams got shut out. Um, to answer your question, Ziori, top five, I believe, is um, Pat, Soul, they have Legendary, Whatever, Fly, and I'm missing one of them. Relic? Person. Do they have Relic? No, that's no, no Earth Spirit. That's no Earth Spirit. That's, that's right. Spirit that's right. Oh, okay. All right. I do know top five, then. I know Pat, Soul. Sort of. Okay. Yeah. I casted him once or twice. There you go. So All if right. you had to pick top two, you 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 said liquid, and liquid, liquid number one, and then it was a toss up between North American rejects and, and sneaky Nick's Assassins. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pick one. Throw throw the other under the bus. Uh, right I gotta here. say, Snot Man. I'm gonna go for it. All right. I'm All right. Go for the underdog. So, so the rejects get rejected. Hold on, for for a group of guys calling us the the NA hub of, of casters here, there's not a lot of American love going the no, way. Right. Well, I I don't have to. So <laughs> I'm excused. Right. That's true. Okay. Hey, man. We're not. We don't hey, baby man. Murica. Murica does shit the right way or doesn't do shit tough at all. Love, yeah. Tough yeah. love. Tough yeah. love. That's Elmo. <laughs> 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 That's fucking Murica. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> do it right the first capitalism. time. Capitalism. <laughs> that that is capitalism. Thank you, swim. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an amazing grand final, though. Sneaky Nick's Assassins versus Team Liquid. That would be quite a storyline. Can you mm. imagine if Sna wins? Oh, God. That would be amazing. That could be interesting. That'd be cool. I'm ready for these storylines, man. There are some really good storylines in these qualifiers. There really are. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones. But, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm super excited for it. I'm just I'm just wondering how buttoned up the, the in-game chat will be between the North American, well, just all the American rejects. qualifier teams. Will, will they yeah. will they button it up for Valve, or are they just going to go ham? No. No, yeah. they, they'll go ham like they always do. There's no yeah. point in not doing it. I mean, like, they don't really care either one way or another. They're just there to have fun and, and just flame each other. So That should be a be segment at the end of the day, like our favorite flames of the oh, day. Shots flames. of the day. Oh, God. Shots of the day. But then we're, like, encouraging, we're encouraging it, but that's it. good. That's, that's good. That's yeah. entertainment. I'm going to heckle them if they don't yeah. do it. I'm just going to be like, where's the all chat, guys? What are you, like, you're not American. What, what's going on here? Like, yeah. so. Yeah. In the lobby, we can turn out. on all chat. Oh great! Let's do. Oh, that. that'll be fun. Yeah. You need our fair share of mana pauses as well. Like, okay. You get it all. Yeah. <laughs> Admins are mana pauses. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mott, thank you for giving us your insight into uh, the America scene. Uh, we look forward to having you in the American hub, and I'm, I'm sure you're looking forward to it as well. Absolutely. Thank you guys oh, yeah. so much for having me. And well, I, I tried to defend my American fan or my American teams as best as possible. But we think uh, you did admirably. Yeah. Right, yeah. Thank you, thank A noble you. effort. Mott, we're, there's we're one more crowd. thing. Uh, are you going to bring the nips? Uh, the nips will be out in full force. Uh, coming May 10th, I suppose. May 12th, if you will. All right. what, what is, like, what are the different levels of force for having the nips out? Like, there's, like, um, uh, little I mean, force, like, full Depends force. on how cold it is. Okay. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's really, it comes down to coldness and, you know, uh, is there any oil involved? Listen, we don't want to get into this. I, I'm going to spoil everything too much, too quickly here, so. Yeah. we got to keep our big guns for the qualifiers. Exactly, right. exactly. Now you all have something to look forward to. You may or may not see Mott Nips at uh, the North American Hub. So 
All right, Mott. Well, take care. I'm sure we'll catch up with you again in the future. All right, guys. Take it easy. See you, Mott. See Cheers. You, Mott. All right. So do we have any other experts for the other uh, regions, or no. was that our, our lone expert? We're fresh out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we're the well, experts for Southeast Asia. All right. China. Yeah. Let's move straight into Southeast Asia. I think that's a, a good place. We already talked about it a little bit, so we don't need to rehash the teams, but top two coming out. Mm. Uh, Gods, we'll pitch it to you first. Ooh. Who are your, your one and two, since you are our SEA expert here? Mm. In-house. I think he's, he's feeling pretty good about Zephyr and the... MVP Phoenix. Is yeah. Easy one, too. Oh, <laughs> the 9-10, you mean. Power friendship. Shots fired as ever, man. But no, um, I, I think I, I, I'll probably, I think the safest option that's likely to happen is Scythe and Arrow Gaming in mm. that order. I think. Okay. But there's, I think there's some teams to look out for. Um, Myth Trust especially. I think Myth Trust will be definitely making it into the playoffs in the top four. Myth Trust, these guys, they never shine in these online tournaments, but they come up big on land. Like, these guys... And Lakels we trust. Yeah, and Lakels we trust. And the thing is, Myth Trust will take advantage of other teams' inexperience. Uh, Arrow Gaming, as well as Scythe, are both very young teams, inexperienced teams. They're teams that will go on tilt. Myth Trust, they lose a game, they have a horrible game, they get stomped, they don't, that won't bother them at all. They can be losing their first two games of the day on the group stage, that won't bother them. To me, Myth Trust, they're experienced. Uh, the fact they have Lakels, and not just Lakels, I think TNK and Arba, these guys have also been on this same, same yeah. team for about five, six years five, now. Six years, yeah. The other two players are new additions, but you've got the three experienced players there. I think Myth They've Trust, been playing together since like TI1, practically. Yeah. I've, I've just convinced myself. I think Myth Trust are getting top two. <laughs> what about I've, RRQ? They've been looking pretty good recently. I I think they'll they'll choke on the big stage here. I think they're good, okay. but I think they'll choke. Yeah. All right. I don't know. That's I, my I would have pegged Scythe as my number one. The number two, yeah, I'm struggling yeah. with a little more, but I think Scythe will be top two just because they've got the highest individual I, skill of any team. I yeah. agree. Individual skill, they beat everyone. I mean, down. I guess for me, I look at it like, all right, which teams are definitely not in the running from my perspective? I would say Maneski is definitely not in the running. Orange Esports definitely not in the running. Uh, sorry, Zephyr, you're not in the running. MVP Phoenix. Uh, like on the borderline, I'm going to say no. Yeah. And first departure, that leaves Scythe, Arrow, RRQ, and Myth Trust. Those are the four teams. Execration is one of the borderline and, teams. Oh, yeah, as well. and, and Execration. Ninja Boogie. Yeah, yeah I, didn't, I didn't give them the axe, so no, no, I guess you, that's five. Execration is one of those shaky, like sometimes they look pretty good, but they struggle with consistency for yeah. sure. Yes. Yeah. Sort of like RRQ. So who's, who's your second place then, David? Uh, first place, I am going to say. I don't really believe in Scythe that much, to be totally honest. Like they've Ooh, won a few, no. they've won a few online events here, or there, but they are pretty inconsistent. Okay. I don't believe I, in Scythe, but they're just so <laughs> skilled. <laughs> if they play their like, best, they'll definitely win the whole. Thing. They're so inconsistent, but they've just got such insane individual skill. Like miracle, not just miracle, freedom on the team as well. Oh, Chibix yeah, that's, is great that's skill. True. It's freedom. The entire team is just like this is a team yeah. that could be like a tier one SEA team if they had a good captain and good okay. teamwork. Yeah. But you've, they just you've don't have it. Me. I'll say Scythe and. Arrow? Myth. <laughs> it's so th hard! SEA is really hard! I hope someone says Zephyr, otherwise I'm gonna say, we're going right, to upset gonna, a lot of fans. I'm going to say Scythe and, and Arrow. I think Scythe and Arrow. Okay. I, I think Scythe is an easy first place, but Agreed. I think Zephyr is a contender for second. I don't know that they'll make it to second, but... I said their best, Charlie, you idiot, not the best. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, just had Damn to put Monolith okay. in his place. It's go go you know, ahead. Anytime you want to slap Charlie around, I'm okay with it. Um, but yeah, I, I think Zephyr, Zephyr, they have a chance at the second spot, and maybe they can make it into play-in, but I don't think their chances are particularly good. I'm excited to it's see the best how these, I can do. Sorry, I'm, guys. Yeah, I'm excited to see how these games with the Korean teams match up with the SEA teams, because we've seen MVP Phoenix yep. and Zephyr play decently well against some of these teams. Yep. Um, but the teams that MVP Phoenix did beat are SEA teams that are kind of down and out at the moment. Orange not playing their best Dota yeah. is a, it's an understatement. Uh, <laughs> they hardly same. play. They've been on well, a little bit of an upswing. They had a close game or two against Titan. Yeah. I think they they won a game of Titan in the best of three. They lost the best of three, but took a game. That's a team that honestly, if they just like get on a run, they could easily make top yeah. two. Well, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't read too much into Orange doing well against Titan because Winter knows them inside and out. I yeah. feel like they're actually they do better against Titan than they do against. Other Winter teams. knows a lot of these teams inside and out though. Like you nah, look at not like, to the same degree. He didn't play for all of them with years. Yeah, not it's not to the same different. degree. You're right. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Scythe one as well. Okay. And I think it'll probably be RRQ for a second. RRQ? I've All right, really enjoyed ball. watching RRQ play like They've recently. been looking good recently. If I could choose it's... which two teams, I'd say RRQ. Like, I, I love watching those guys play. Yeah. So, I'm a, yeah. I'm a it's big almost RRQ like fan. It's, I can't really choose, so I'm picking the team that I like the most. So, right. so RRQ and who else? 
Scythe. I had Scythe first. Okay. Scythe. Scythe number one. So unanimous Scythe okay. number one across the board. All right. And then that second slot, I think it is a little bit of a the, the second place for this one. SEA is is crazy. It's All these teams open. kind of this one up each other. This is the most interesting qualifier. It's the most yeah. wide open SEA is the deepest. I feel like Hardest there's like seven or eight teams that are at least have a shot at making the playoffs. Some of the ones I said, like, they're not going to win. I just mm -hmm. don't think they'll finish top two. And no way. It's just but. stacked full of big names. Like, even the teams we're counting out, like, Zephyr are very talented and have, like, I mean, a ton of popularity as well. It's um, probably the most like popular qualifier in terms of how well known yeah. the teams are. Overall. MVP yeah. Phoenix, like, is while they didn't win any games at Starlighter, that's more just an experience they can take back to career and yeah. really apply yeah. in the qualifier. Mm -hmm. So I think MVP Phoenix, they'll take that experience and be a lot stronger now. So I think MVP okay. Phoenix will finish like top five, honestly. Like, well, really only top four, top four go through the playoffs. So it's I, like, who, which four teams do you think go through the playoffs? They really the might make the playoffs just because I think well, now that they've added QO and he's been stable on the team. <laughs> Um, yeah. And they've had some time to kind of work with that roster and be consistent. I think they might really have a chance to make top four. Same with Je Zephyr. Um, but the problem is, is who do they really? knock off? They've yeah. got to beat an Execration or an Arrow or an RRQ to even make I mean, it. Do you think Zephyr has a shot at the top four? I think they have a shot. No, they, I don't think every they're probably. I, yeah, yeah. I don't think yeah, it's probably. A probable. good shot. Not a good shot. Yeah. No, I don't think a good I mean, shot. This is like the same conversation we had about MVP Phoenix taking a game at Star Ladder. It sounds great to say, oh, yeah, they'll take yeah. a game off somebody, but who are they going to take a game okay, off? Okay, well, this, this, this competition and, is no, not no, the no, same no, level no. as Star Ladder. No, I know, no, but I mean, not. in context of the conversation, it's like, yeah, they'll take a game off somebody. Okay, who are they going to take a game off of? And you go I, through all the teams, and it's like, no, they're going to lose to all those no, teams. I, I think Zephyr and MVP Phoenix can beat pretty much any of these teams. Yeah. Maybe not like Scythe or Arrow. I just don't think they're consistent or good enough to beat a lot of them and get into the playoffs. I don't think it's probable that a Korean team makes it in the top four. I, however, Will not be surprised no. if it happens. If one, if like okay. one or two sneaks in, I won't think it's fall. a crazy upset yeah. if MVP Phoenix yeah. beats Execration and yeah, Arrow. I think more likely you get like your Scythe, your Arrow, your Mythtrust, then like Execration or RRQ. But if uh, right. Zephyr MVP sneaks in, no one's going to be no one's going to be crazy. Shocked. Yeah. If well, Zephyr wins a the qualifier, then people, people will be thrilled think. and shocked. Yeah, that would be that yes. would probably be that the most be like a big storyline. Gotta Generally interesting storyline if yeah. Zephyr wins the whole I, thing. Then, uh, then I, I, William Blitzley, you're out there. You can give me all the shit in the world if you do manage to win the qualifier. Yeah. I doubted you. I'm sorry, but you got to win that qualifier first. <laughs> I, about, hope you, I hope they do. It's all about the power of friendship. I'll be happy if they do, but I just don't. I, as, as an analyst, yeah. I can't lie and say I think they're going to be top two, top three. Right. Don't, don't confuse analysis for, for a statement on human worth or friendship. Yes. Blitz. The power of friendship ends here. <laughs> it's the brick wall of Southeast Asia. <laughs> Rest in peace, power of friendship. <laughs> All right, let's chug right ahead here, guys. We've got China up next, and this is the one that I think is most difficult to discern who will be top one, top two. The top Chinese teams have already been invited, and mm -hmm. looking at this, I've been casting WPC over the past few weeks, and I really... I'm I'm not sure. I don't know who my okay, top two let's, are. Let's let's so do the, let's do the approach that we had for SEA. Like, which are the yeah. teams that don't really have a great? I think shot? You can, yeah, you can easily knock some. Speed off. gaming, LGDC no deck, no. Orenda. Orenda. Orenda no. Those three are definitely not going anywhere. I would go so far to knock off um, CNB CND, as well as, yeah. as, well as Tongfu even. Yeah, I would knock off Tongfu. So that leaves us Tongfu with Tongfu kind of borderline. That leaves us with LGD, Dreamtime, CIS, HGT. I would new element. CIS is HGT. CIS is so inconsistent though. Okay, so let's say it's HGT, New Element, Dreamtime, Dreamtime. LGD. Yeah, I think I think and then CIS is in. I that think Tongfu and C Tongfu and CIS are in the same like board. Uh, they're like in the, the borderline. Like you can you don't I think know, CIS you is don't count them in. Than Tongfu I right think now. CIS. I think you're un you're underwriting CIS just a little bit. I, I think I, they're kind of. Like, see, I casted the Summit China pre qualifies and they went either one and five or zero. They yeah, lost they like, and they they did bad they did before well. that as well. They. They've done atrociously. It's ever just because they beat DK in the best of one. People are they did well on Sina Cup. Yeah. How long ago was Sina Cup? Sina Cup was in February. They weren't it's playing with Black. They've been well. playing yeah. decently well. In, in WPC, yeah, no, no. Though? Didn't they just in WPC? Didn't they yeah, two O IG and then they, they lost to newbie. They two O newbie and then yeah. they lost to DK with three standards. So they have kind of been all over the place. They you have would, had some. That's true. Okay, yeah. I'm 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 not giving them enough credit. Recently, I think CIS has been playing better. Will they still make top four? Like if you look at those, no. the, I would say I would say like I feel like CIS and Tongfu are like five six. Yes. I think they're okay. right yeah. below the top. I, I would yeah. say that that's fair. I'm not saying, like, Orenda, well, CNB, LGD, deck. These are the teams, and Speed Gaming are the teams that are, like, at the very bottom. I think at the same time, we're maybe overrating New Element a bit just because of how they've done in the Summit, like, as well. Yeah. Like, they, they did really well in the Summit. They had to come through the qualifiers, right? See, that was where they did yeah. well and CIS did bad. And, yeah. like, we're only rating New Element in the top three, top four because of that. I feel like they're not a team who I'd actually rate that much higher than CIS or Tongfu. So they're the team that no one knows. Like, no one, like, gets their strategies, Their right? drafting is just weird like they yeah. pick like four or five <laughs> farmers every game and it either 
flops horribly or it's like amazingly successful. Yeah. But Bounty yeah. Hunter support. I, I wouldn't put much money on a team no. that drafts like that. It's I just think too unstable. HGT and DT are my top two, but I don't know which one is over LGD. Come out. Over LGD? I don't know. LGD, the, the bit that yeah. I got to see them in WPC, they weren't looking that good. But they to did be fair, be, that's a small They did 2-0 Titan the other day. Okay. Um, and I was like, re- I was not sold on LGD for the with their most recent player, but yeah, they look they're, cons- they're solid. That's the main thing. The you look at a team like HGT, and they're not solid. HGT will win games, but they're they they look so bad some games. LGD yeah. never look bad. They just always look. It's just like good with enough. like Liquid right. in the Americas region. Sure, they're not playing their best Dota, but their individual skill is so much higher than everybody else's. Like, it's well, hard it's to count. It's less their down. individual skill. It's more just like their experience and poise. That's true. Yeah, I I don't think well, LGD has that as well. LGD and like yeah. they're they're getting old to I be think honest. LGD are guaranteed pretty much more <laughs> or less I'd say ninety percent. I'm old. I would Damn. No, I don't old. think their individual skills low. I'm just no. I don't think it's way like I, even a team like DT who doesn't have a ton of hugely well known players. I think their individual yeah. skills right there with yeah. LGD. It's just not I mean, the execution. I still think Xiao yeah, Tuji is top shaking. tier carry in China. Yeah. Yes. I think LGD Shot2G not is getting m- top two would be a big shock. Yes, agreed. I it's think okay. I'd be extremely shocked if LGD. To me, LGD is like Liquid in the America group. They're the team expected to win it, but there's always that small chance they don't. So okay. If the, the f- tier two teams, HGT and Dreamtime, have like, a bad play their egg. Yeah. So, no, so good... I, are we in agreement that LGD and Dreamtime are the favorites? You can put HGT in that mix over Dreamtime. Yeah, I, I would say those your guns, HGT man. Over yeah. Well, it's, I think that's debatable. Yeah. I, I don't know if I would. I'm just saying. I think. So you think LGD definitely, and then Dreamtime or HGT? I think that's a. Yeah, that that is your top three in this qualifier, pretty yeah. undisputedly. Yeah. I, I I will agree with the top three. LGD easy first. I'm not sold on, but again, I I just the games I saw them they they didn't look particularly yeah. great. They just the games they won were just yeah okay you know you you had Uh-oh. a decent. Draft I think team. I think Will wants to come on now. Oh, let's uh, do this. Let's he do this. Message me. I don't it's know. Too late. He missed. A, he missed late, yeah. He's gonna hang up on us. Already talking about trying. Okay, up. let him hang up on us. <laughs> Can you actually get your audio? Oh no, You're you need to call. You need to call. Yeah, I would agree, so. though, um, okay. while we're waiting on calling Blitz, I would say yeah. LGD is number one. But I wouldn't be surprised if in the grand finals a team like – if I think it'll be LGD, DT, HGT top three easily. Okay. But I wouldn't <laughs> be surprised in the grand finals if like a team like Dreamtime or HGT like upsets them and makes LGD play through the wild card. Yeah. That would be an interesting yes. – That's uh, the thing. You uh, put LGD in a best of five grand final against HGT or Dreamtime and – Anything can happen. Yeah. It's really dicey because that's where Dreamtime. It, that's where ZSMJ could lead his team to victory. I believe in him, yeah. but the team as a whole I is, just, is very shaky. I want to believe. I thought you were gonna say another word there. <laughs> uh, it, Will, Will is up for the call. Let's let's oh, get man. him on here. All right, guys, we've got Blitz coming on here in Our just Southeast a moment. Asian the, the Avatar of friendship. <laughs> the Avatar. What's up, fool? Hey, Will. What's up, man? Are Dude, you gonna? I got people are saying I'm being flamed or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> we just no, said... no. We were we just. We we were just giving out predictions for Southeast Asia, and uh, as much as where, where did we where did we get where did we draw? No, um, we uh, said you four. guys were looking really strong. Yeah, you, you were, were really no. strong, but not top four material. Yeah, you know what? When Joy Dota was a better studio than you guys, I supported you. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> when the good studio overtook you, I was there. And I had blind faith in you Dude. fuckers. <laughs> so quickly. Dude, we just hang you, hung, ha- had you around because we needed the pretty girl around. That's <laughs> Yeah, that was it. Jesus. We needed the grill power. Yeah, well, Jesus. can you come back? We don't have enough grills to compete with the EU hub. Dude, my hair has grown long enough to be called lesbian Margaret Cho again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Twan's sister. <laughs> Dude, oh. how, are you, how are you guys going to sell me short like that, though? That's so messed up. I'm sorry. Because boys. as a as a caster analyst, I, I gotta I gotta be honest, Will. I can't just. Well, I can't well, just well, talk well you, you were up. talking the other day about how you thought your chances in the qualifier were like. You Dude, thought... man, people tell me all the time you look terrible in a tank top and a mustache, God. <laughs> and I do. That's why I'm not wearing a tank top or a mustache right now. <laughs> Dude, I defend your right to do that. You should also have blind faith in us, fuckface. Look, I, I will, I will, I will defend your right to eat fried chicken and whatnot. But I will not defend your team's chances right. of winning the TI4 SEA qualifier. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> to be dead realistic with you, to like top two is like, you know, it's like pretty un unlikely. It's like, do you think top four? I mean, I, obviously I think, you guys are gonna be confident, I, but I think getting like fourth. Is very reasonable. Who do you so, think's out of reach for you guys? I think, to be dead honest with you, um, I think Scythe is gonna win pretty handily. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just to be realistic, uh, I think Arrow from when we played them, especially, like you can tell they're like 
they're going to be like a really special team for a while as well. Special. I mean, like, because they're young, you know, and they're yeah. all pub stars oh. and shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, I run into them in pubs, and they're all, like, really immensely talented. And so I think, I think most likely, as it stands right now, because, you know, it's 16 days from now, things can change. Um, I think Scythe comes in first, Arrow gets second. Okay. And then I think, uh, depending on, I think Orange might have the most potential. Really? They have, I mean, they have, they have Winter, who's, like, a really good captain. And they have the some pub stars, skip. too. Yeah, they have good, like, individual skill. I hear Ysera's like yeah. 17 or some shit and he's really yeah. good. Do you not rate like the importance of experience? Because to me, I have Mythcrust top 2 just because they have the most experienced so, team and right. some of the so, most... Like, Go ahead. I don't know how much you rate like scrims and stuff like that. but I don't rate just... scrims at all. Well, well, like even in like games we play pretty seriously against them for practice and stuff like that, uh, Mythcrust haven't impressed as much as Scythe and Arrow have. Hey, man. And even... Mythcrust think... beat you guys in the inaugural. Wasn't that the game we lost like two to one? Yeah, yeah. You guys lost all your two of your series two one, and then lost to Titan two zero. I mean, I can't remember what the first game was like against Myth Trust, yeah. but that was actually that was actually the first sets we've ever lost to them. Okay. So it's not like well, whereas okay. like when we played against Arrow versus like when we actually beat Myth Trust, like when we played against Arrow, it it never really felt like we were in the game. You know what I mean? They were just like toying with you, kind of. Yeah, exactly. So I I think. Scythe 1, Arrow 2, and then Orange or RQ. What about a team like Execration? Like, you've versed them in the inaugural, but have you played scrims and stuff against them as well? Uh, we've... I, I think Execration, we played, like, once or twice, and they've actually impressed as well. Yeah, but I, I think, think they're, they're really good. Like, I think RQ is better than them, in my personal ratings. Ninja Boogie, man. Ninja... That guy's legit. He really is. He's really good. But RQ is quite good, although we should have won. To be honest, against them. There was one, yeah, one of the games in the inaugural you really should have won. I think I was against RIQ. But... That 18k gold lead blown, but yeah. I mean, holy fuck, guys! Like, give us a little bit of faith, you know? <laughs> nope. You're gonna faith must be Look, earned, not given. Will I give yeah. you every like? If if you guys do top two, like, if you guys even get top four, you can give me shit for the next year until the TI5 qualifiers, where you'll mm. again. Is this going to be like Hopefully the Enchantress be. cosplay, right. yeah, or is this he actually right. going to get to give you here's, shit? Here's what's going to happen, okay? Right. If we get top two in the qualifiers, none of you motherfuckers in the studios can grow a beard or a mustache no. for like a full six months. No. Deal. That's, no. I was like, the one that had like the most faith God's, in you, Blitz. Me and Brian actually God's, look good with facial hair. I can't grow a beard. <laughs> if, you so. do a, if you do a no facial hair, facial hair, trust me, we Dude, both look I, better I, with we it. We both don't look hair. good. I won't grow facial oh. hair for six months as well. All right, I gonna, would only agree to do that if you have to grow facial hair. Dude, I, yes. I, if I could, I would. Like, that's that's a terrible bet. I mean, yeah, I'll agree to that. It'll okay. Take me, like six months to grow. I've seen that peach fuzz. There. Let's see what we can do there. Ugh. <laughs> But no, LD and I were the one giving you all the most credit. Well, I don't know about LD. I was giving you all a lot of credit. I said I wouldn't be surprised if you were in the top four. It's not that I doubt you guys. It's that I, I, it's that I have a lot of faith in the SEA teams. I would say. No, dude, you can't. You can't get on the hype train and make excuses. All right, well, Go. fuck you guys are worthless, and you're gonna get bottom two then. <laughs> <laughs> all right, wait, that's okay. I'm, I'm changing camp then. <laughs> you're not gonna let me do that then. I done. Zephyr wrote to bottom two. Zero, you're going, you're going zero and nine in the group stage. Will. Holy shit, dude! Things just got a lot <laughs> darker. My lord, rest in peace, as William. Dude, oh Jesus! I'll like, if we get last, I'll show up for the first day at the international with like frosted tips in my hair. <laughs> okay, deal. I would love to see some frosted tips. I hope you guys don't get last. I don't want to see I, that. I, so yeah, we no no one here thinks you'll get last. Right. No one here wants gets, to see that. If you don't win a single game, I will actually show up to TI with no eyebrows and frosted tips on my hair. Okay. All right, you heard it here, guys. No <laughs> eyebrows, frosted tips. Better fingers <laughs> crossed that Zephyr wins at least one game. That was you directed at you, Write that down, at least. <laughs> Holy fuck. Actually, I take that back. No, <laughs> too late. Too late. You said it twice. <laughs> you said it he twice. He can't take it. Well, <laughs> he's off. Oh, all right. No he hung up on us, guys. Nice to Sorry. hear from you, Blitz. Uh, he, he just he got tired. He, he had to go, so I guess he's sticking with his final statement. Okay. Well, frosted tips, no eyebrows. Yeah. Good luck. You heard it here first on in the studio. Glad to hear that Zephyr is confident, though, and you need confidence going into an event like this, boys. Yeah. Okay. So we have one more region. I think we've talked. We talked about China. Yep. Uh, yes. We talked about America. Best and for last. Southeast Asia. Europe. Europe. How yep. about Europe? Yeah. We got a uh, one last. Who do we have here? Calling in, Mr. Uh, PPD. Ooh. Okay. Is he our EU expert? Yeah, he's our EU expert. I actually don't know a whole lot about some of these uh, teams, so. Okay. You guys. Good. 
Hello, Hello Peter. How are you? Hi. What's the good word, Peter? I, what, what do you want to ask? What do you want to know? Uh, what we would... want to know about these Europe teams. You are our Europe expert. <laughs> That's very, very qualified vague. for this position. <laughs> <laughs> well, you spend time in Kiev, so you're practically That's, a Euro now. That's true. I've been to Europe. So, yeah. So, <laughs> looking at uh, the Europe group, we've got Next KZ, MYM, Virtus Pro, Dog, Rocks Kiss, Aware, Relax, Power Rangers, Monomaniacs, and He <laughs> He United. I'm not so sure about the last ones, but all the others I'm at least semi familiar with. Peter, who would you say your top two are um, for this qualifier? If I had to choose two teams, I would say Team Dog, number one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Rock's Kiss or probably Rock's Kiss too. Okay. If I, if I, had to, if I was a betting man, that's what hmm. I would go with. What about Power Rangers? They've been looking good recently. No, they're not good enough. Okay. okay. Easy enough. I think. Uh, next KZ, Virtus Pro. No. Okay. Okay. There's. Okay. I'm just gonna be completely frank and bold because that's what that's that's Do what it. you want for this show. It is. Hell's yeah. Next KZ, MYM, Aware Gaming, Relax, and. He he United will not do well at all. Wow. Yeah, those yeah, teams yeah. are just there. They won't win. <laughs> I, say sl I slightly disagree on Relax. I don't think they're going to oh, win, Virtus, but Virtus I don't Pro think they'll too. do terribly. Virtus, Virtus Pro as well. They won't okay. win anything. Relax. Relax is a team that like the individual skill is there to do well, but they're just they're not a serious team. But serious I, I feel team. like Relax will be like fifth, sixth. They'll like be close yeah. to making the playoffs. Exactly. Like I view. I haven't actually watched He He United, so I'm not going to comment on them. But yeah. who's even VP on that is roster? playing really well, poorly right now. MYM. They've had some. I can't judge them too much because in the summit they've had internet issues. They had to stand in, but their results have been very poor recently. Next KZ is quite inconsistent and a little one-dimensional. They just play like this ultra greedy, like double Midas Dota, but nobody's creating space for the team, and they just get rolled a lot of games. So, right. yeah. and aware, I've not been impressed by yeah. from Starlight or you either. You didn't mention Monomaniacs. Now they're a bit of a dark horse for a lot of people, considering how well they performed in the Fragbite Masters. I yeah, believe. Yeah, they, they had a good run in the Fragbite. What Masters. do you think about them, PPD? Do you know well, about they do them? have they do have the new A god, A mother, A mother. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Best so, name ever. <laughs> I I from what I've heard and seen, it's all really good things. Uh, Solon was a guy I used to play, you know, play Han with back in the day, yeah. and uh, you know he wasn't like the greatest player then, but I'm glad to see, you know he's been grinding since Dota two came out basically. So I'm glad to see him finally doing something, yeah, in Dota, having some success, and it seems like. Their drafts and their play style is really like refined. Like okay. they do a lot of like early push, like mid game strats, which are probably pretty strong and will do well in a qualifier like this. Okay. So I yeah, them Power Rangers are probably the two teams that might contest for that second spot against okay. Roxkiss, and that just depends whether or not Roxkiss chokes or not. Because yeah. I think they've, I do think they're the second best team in here. They've been really shaky for like the past. Yeah. I would say like ever since they won the like tiebreakers that. for Star Ladder. Like they, quite I mean, they went to uh, they went to the Moscow land and they got like three one by next KZ or something. Yeah, it's true. Which, yeah, yeah, that's right. So, I, I think Power Rangers are pretty serious contenders. With Scandal in the mid in the stead of uh, so ZXC, they've looked the, quite good in the summit. The yeah, past few days. the they only team the summit, that really sure. beat them handily in the summit was Rock's Kiss, but it was it was a really weird game. That was the game they did the dual they mid centaur, centaur mid, yeah. and then his first gank failed, and it was. It was a disaster, but other than that, they've been they've been looking good. I also I don't know. feel like I have faith in Scandal. Roxkiss is kind of like weird in this patch, right? Some of their most picked heroes got directly nerfed, right? They Dazzle, Centaur, all kind of hit with the bat. Yeah. So yeah. we'll see how Roxkiss can rebound, but I feel like Monomaniacs is I feel a bit like more. The Centaur nerf isn't that huge, though. I mean, we saw Centaur today, and he was still yeah, pretty it's... meaty. Uh, I don't know. We'll no, see. no, I we'll don't see. think the mana change really does anything. Yeah, what, double what? edge doesn't cost mana. That's true. The old barely the, cost mana. That's true. It's, it's, a, like it's a nerf to the offlane. It's a nerf to the offlane set though. Yeah. Just a little bit. Like, because now he only has like two stuns. Before he had like three. Yeah. That's true. So yeah. It's a big a, difference. He's a little bit weaker. But... Supports, supports only start out with like one set of regen usually. So that's a big deal. Like okay. the stun. Because I mean, Centaur can trade better. All right. Yeah. And I mean, you, we're talking like Team Dog there. How how clear favorites are they? Would, would, it, would big it... time. I okay. think they're a top team. I think they're going to be really good. And I think, I think they've looked they, dominant recently. They're going to run the table in the qualifiers. In my opinion, more so than like LGD will in China or Liquid yes. will in America. Yes, I think so. Oh, yes. I, I think I don't. I think they look way more dominant than LGD does in China. I'm not that convinced on LGD. I think yeah. they're slight favorites. Completely I same I, compared I, to like Liquid in America. It's just I don't like even think scenario. Liquid's that huge of a. So, I hate to your, say it, but who's your second place team for Euro? Uh, uh, for Euro, Roxas? I, I you gotta go. Roxas. I, I feel I feel Roxas Power Rangers over Rock's Kiss to be honest. 
based on just what I've seen the yeah. past week and a half or so. Yeah. They've done but well in the summit, change. but they've other other tournaments. It's not been the same case. Like that's a good storyline. Didn't power or Rosh just kick Scandal? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, does does better on power. He's been kicked around a bit since the old Empire days. Yes. What happened? He also took like oh I, I have no idea, but he took like forever to join like officially join the team. He was a stand in for like three months. Yeah. I think some contract issue with but, yeah. with uh, Power Rangers. Oh, Power Rangers. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm not sure. And ZXC, he ended up on another team, and I'm forgetting which one it is. It was uh, was it aware? It, I might have been aware. I saw it. Or aware. It was one of those. I get those, those two teams. confused so much. See, it's awful. I cause... mean, on the top of some of these other teams like Cleve and stuff. There's a lot of people I've seen. Like one of the most common complaints about the qualifiers is the teams in the Europe Europe qualifiers. I see a lot of people saying yeah. certain teams missed out. Um, PBD, are there any like big tier two European teams you feel should be in this list that aren't? Uh no. I don't. I think that's all of them, isn't it? Like. I don't think anyone's missing. Goomba. The, I don't even know who they are. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know who you are. They're like, United they're a team are, really. that were, I think they're in Fragbite and did okay in Fragbite yeah. as well. It's just kind of like, he he United feels like this awkward last spot. They've, they've been playing forever. Yeah. They've been playing for like a long time. Like, I feel like who, they definitely deserve a spot. Who is what about on? 4FC? Really? Yeah, 4FC. 4FC disbanded, but then randomly were playing Fragbite again? Yeah. They have way too many roster issues. Okay. Like, okay. if they had still had their original roster with like Giftig and Krilly and all those guys, maybe, but. They keep changing because they just they just keep losing and they keep trying to replace okay. players to fix it. There's also like the retry, no PGG. Yeah, this no the... retry. I didn't think about that. Was was, t I think was he in the qualifiers last he... year? Uh, I think he. I think. I think no. After... no, no, I didn't think he yeah, was. Yeah, looking at the teams that were in the European group stage of Starlighter Season Nine, the only ones missing uh, that weren't invited it's, already. It's um, ahead, Cleve and Sane in the retry. Yeah, and then the other one was Sigma, which of course are now. Yeah, team. Who's on, a, who's on Aware Gaming? Aware is Cleave, right? See, there's a wi yeah. ahead, the Aware, yes. Cleave, and Courage. Okay. So it's basically all yeah. Cleave and Aware. It's stress. Yeah. Uh, I think it's Shaco. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Uh, no, that's Hakan. 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 Loliko, Roger, and Yamaha. Lolik, what a this player! This is a legit team. They actually did really well in that Moscow land. The, yeah. Whatever yeah. it was, the Tech Labs one. Lolik's a good player, and Yamaha is a beast at the Snail Medusa build. I think Aware was the team in <laughs> oh, the, the, the Raid Boss. Oh, the Raid yeah. Boss yeah. Medusa with Game no more stuff around. Yeah, Pflax is actually in the chat. We should get him in soon. He knows yeah, all about he, Aware. Yeah, game. he he knows all about the Snail. Okay. Return of the Medusa um, TF for qualifiers. But I think Aware was the team that, although their record in Star Ladder was really poor, like they 3 and 12, well with everyone. every game they put up a pretty good fight. Yeah. It was like the, the yeah. matches were kind of close, and then at the end they just yeah. couldn't seal the deal. So yeah. they're kind of one of those weird teams that I think they have a little more power leaking, uh, lurking beneath the surface. Yeah. I just want some PGG in the qualifiers. I That's my only complaint. Yeah. I, 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 think, like I think out of all four qualifiers, to me, Dog are the biggest single favorite in their region. And I don't think it's even that close. Who's got the Who's got the best second place team? Who's gonna win the uh, the plan? Oh, that's a good oh. question, actually. Um, I would honestly, well, I would, might give that to America. Or no, America okay, or Southeast let's, Asia. Let's run yeah, through okay, America. China. China. America China's Southeast got like Asia. Dreamtime or HGT. So, like, I don't okay, know. I, I wrote down most of our second place uh, teams, and for North America, we had Sneaky Nick's Assassins or, or NA Rejects. Or uh, NA, NA Rejects. Rejects. NA Rejects for uh, China. We had either DT or HGT. HGT. Mm -hmm. For uh, SEA, we had basically either Myth or Arrow uh, or, RRQ. or RRQ if you're Brian. Yeah. And then know. for uh, <laughs> or Zephyr if you're Blitz. <laughs> or, or yeah, or, or or Zephyr if you're Blitz. And then uh, like for, sorry, sorry, Brian. What, uh, what's for, your thoughts on Zephyr yeah. quickly, PPD? Do you want to fire some shots at them? <laughs> uh, McCory, my boy, he's, he's a real player, but I don't the, know about the, the other four. <laughs> Okay. So good answer. Okay. <laughs> and then the it was Rock's Kiss or PR that we had in second place for Europe. Yeah. So of those teams, sneaky. Uh, okay, never yeah, mind. Of, Forget of those, what I said about America. Who, yeah. who would take it? I think America's maybe got the the least. I, 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 I think it is that. what people were saying initially, which is Europe or China. Yeah, Europe or China. I think. Um, I mean, like I would agree. Like HGT I versus think. Rock's Kiss. Who would win that? That's a weird matchup. You know, like I I would peg either DT or HGT to be in the finals of the playing tournament, and then. I think Rocks Kiss or Power Rangers are probably your be tops. Really how do you guys? Go ahead. How, how can you guys choose two teams? Just just choose one. Like, well, we were. It's it's a group here. Well, we, we like were, to narrow it down, you know. So I mean, the second place is hard to say in a lot of these. Yeah. Let's hear some. Okay, who are your four second places then, Peter? Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah, Peter. My four second places. Yeah. Uh, well, your... I don't know anything about China, but Rocks Kiss. And you said Take HGT, a so I'll go with that. Mm -hmm. Um. Who's the, who's the second place in Southeast Asia? I don't know any of those teams. We either. had Myth, Arrow, or RRQ. Or Zephyr, if you're Blitz. 
I don't know. I'll go with uh, Myth Arrow. Sure. No, those are two, those different, are two teams. different teams. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <teams. laughs> if, if you guys like end up Jesus, like group, really day one group stage no reversing like Myth Trust or Arrow, you better be prepared, man. We're playing Myth Arrow. <laughs> NA second place is going to be Sneaky Nick's Assassins. Okay, for sure. Over North American Rejects. Yeah, no, think? no faith in Fog. No faith in base. We scrimmed against both teams, and I think North American Rejects definitely has the potential. But Sneaky Nick's Assassins, they play all day. They, I feel like they scrim like ten hours a day. Yeah, so. Fluff is Fluff is always on Dota. Mm. Well, Ix Mike hasn't closed Dota in like three years. He's he's the person with the most time on Dota Open in the world. He doesn't that actually prove it. Really? It's that, actually proven. He's got like 787 thing. days on Dota 2. Jesus. All right, I say sn Sneaky like Nick's He's never closed the client. <laughs> that really seals the deal. All right. All right. Never, they're going to win the they're gonna never win the Never closes the client. Too. Okay, so you Sneaky Nick's Assassins, right. and then you say they win the play-in. Yeah, I'll go for that. And okay. that play-in is going to be the most hyped thing ever, I think. I'm like, so it's excited. It's going to be all yes. the players. The event, everyone's just going to chain USA. It's, well, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. Well, I, last year the Chinese players were going pretty nuts as well. That's actually yeah. like a, it's gonna be a small. It's like a mini mini TI of like your yeah. tier two teams with like one team from each of these regions. It's gonna be really and this cool. format's way more interesting than last year, where it's just one best of five. Now yeah. you have like an actual little tournament to yeah. it, and if one team shows up flat, you probably still get some good matches out of it. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing that's gonna be tough is the three teams that don't make it in that make the trip all the way out to Seattle. Sure, it's awesome to be able to be at the event, but you're gonna be there watching all these games, thinking, man, if we just play better, we could be playing instead of watching. Yeah. So that would be tough. Such on is the nature of competition. It is. it is. I just remember last year when uh, we had uh, the Quantic team. Yeah. And I just remember what Goblack was just all really sad for like the last week. He had a hard time like enjoying the event because he just kept. I think it depends which team. If there's team like any fun things to do in Seattle, they're just going to enjoy themselves. Like Fog will have a good time. Like I feel like it's a free holiday to Seattle. Like some of the teams will not be like that upset. Like any rejects will have fun. I think it shows something about your competitive edge if you're kind of sad though. Like oh yeah. Oh yeah. You should be. But some everyone, of these teams are... Everyone gets we'll disappointed see. with losing. Of we'll course. See. To varying degrees. To though. varying degrees. Definitely. Yeah. Some people cut their So you think off. C Enix Assassins definitely has... <laughs> Well, he doesn't know, really he know who the SCA teams are. So. That's, that's true. <laughs> they're going to do well against Myth Arrow. Yeah, Myth Arrow. They're going to take it. I'm calling <laughs> it now. I mean, they, they play first. So they're going to be jet lagged. Like, it's... You know, okay. That's true. That's yeah. true. They won't be jet lagged. That's actually a pretty big benefit. Yeah. Um... By the way, PFLAX has a rap we can play, but let's see if we can get him on the call here. Oh, I like can that. Why can he not perform it live? Facts. I'm out then. All right. I'm out. All right. Thanks, thanks, thanks Peter. Peter. We'll talk Peter. to you thanks later. Thanks for your insight, man. Cheers. Snip, snip. Snip, boys. Oh, boy, LD. So, all right. That's pretty close to our the close of our, our second piece. So the last thing we have to talk about is uh, the coverage hubs and do whatever we, PFLAX wants to talk about. Do we want to take a quick break before we go? Do we, we want to take a, a little breather here before part three? Are you boys feeling fresh? We can take an ad break, play as rap during the ad break, and then come back for coverage hub talk. How's that sound? I mean, that sounds okay. You're the, you're the man controlling the Skype. so right, right, PFLAX doesn't call. want to come on anyway. He's, so. he's ditching. We'll Snakes. take an ad break. Put on Dodger. Some okay. put, put on some beats for you guys. Yeah, so we'll beats. be back after five minutes or so, guys, and we'll have the last segment of today's special in the studio by 100TB.